<laughs> this is the Sierra banjo, and I want to talk about the Sierra banjo a little bit because it's a, it's also a very special instrument. When I, I still lived in Switzerland and I was giving lessons in the 80s, uh, I had lots of students, and I had a good friend who uh, uh, actually he built banjos, and, and he just he, he couldn't keep up with all the students that I had, you know, to build all the banjos. So I was trying to find a banjo that was really a, a, a good banjo for the money, and. Um, so I was looking, you know, with all the manufacturers that I could find and was working together with a little music store, you know, they would import them. And I said, well, why don't we try the Deering banjo? And, and we looked at the Sierra, you know, and the Sierra was a very uh, uh, um, good priced, three ply maple, one piece flange, tone ring. It, it was everything there that, that you needed to have a good banjo tone. And, um, and so I started selling Sierras, you know, through the music store to my students. Um, and uh, uh, and the band, you know, proved to be you know an extremely good instrument, and it always been for Deering. The Sierra has been going through quite some changes now, but it always been this this banjo that that is just the standard banjo. You could you know it's just that's just the standard banjo. You can do anything with this banjo. You could give me this banjo, and I can just go and make my living playing this instrument, because it it can it can do just just anything. And this is what it's designed for to be. It is mahogany, this one. It's also available in, in maple. Um, and the, the sound difference between mahogany and maple, um, maple is a little, little brighter, maybe a little bit more uh, responsive in a sense, and, and mahogany is a little, bit, a little bit softer, and sometimes a little bit easier to play, um, a little bit easier to control. But, but mahogany also has a beautiful, beautiful uh, 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 voice uh, in, its, in, in the wood. And when, we, when you talk about banjos in the wood, you know, it's mainly, you know, when you look and you think of the resonator, the resonator is just, it, it's laminated wood. And it needs to be laminated wood uh, um, uh, for a lot of reasons. But the, uh, the sides, you know, so, so uh, the, that doesn't make that much difference if it's maple resonator or mahogany resonator. It will sound very, very similar. But, and the neck is the main thing that is just different. And it sounds different because the counter movement of the string, you see, you have vibrations going over the, over the knot, you have vibrations going over the bridge. And if you have a, also the vibrations going to the knot, the, the, the neck will move. And now with mahogany, the neck will move a little bit different than with maple. And it colors the way, it affects the way the string actually then sounds because it's a counter movement to the, to the string. And this colors actually the, the sound of, of uh, more than anything. So the higher you go up the neck, the less you hear a difference of the wood type of the neck, really. But the, the mahogany is beautiful here on this, on this Sierra banjo. The Sierra banjo just used to have dots in it. And Greg and Jan and me were sitting around the house once and we said, well, wouldn't it be great if we could you know, make this, this banjo with more you know, inlays? Because the inlays, uh, Greg, Greg always sits in his office and he always has a little pencil and he draws inlays and he loves to do that uh, because it's uh, this romantic idea of banjo, you know, having it you know, ornament, or ornamented. And, uh, and so uh, uh, he came up with a way of making this instrument you know, uh, be more beautiful with these inlays and I, I think he's done an amazing job. Um, the tuners on this instrument are the same than, like on any other uh, Deering. They are the very, very good tuners, extremely smooth tuners. And, um, and so... Like I said, it's good for everything, uh, uh, and all the way up to the professional level. The tone ring is an 06 tone ring. It's a little over three pounds. It's a soft maple. It's a soft maple rim that vibrates extremely well, and uh, a one-piece flange that holds everything really good together. The tail pieces on these instruments are made so you so you have a very good hold of the string, and the vibrations go to the pot and not just disappear into the tail piece and get absorbed, you know, into some strange low hum or something. Uh, so we try to get everything onto the banjo and then try. To, to help the tone to be produced in the pot and not try to eliminate all the things in the tailpiece. Right. So, so you listen, you listen to the highs.
Yeah, I, I love the banjo. I think it's fantastic. So if you if you look into you know maybe upgrade and really you know get from a uh, uh, let's say an imported instrument that that looks good and plays okay to really do a great instrument that that is really a master you know sound. Uh, you want to really look at the Sierra because this is one of the finest banjos you know in the business. Really, I think it's an amazing instrument.